Are you ready for FunCon 2021? Let's talk about it. So Virtual Con number seven is coming up very soon. It will be held online on August 4th and in person August 4th through the 6th of this year. I'm going to be funking off. What the f*** does that mean? You can just funk off if you don't want to funk on. I swear I looked at it and said funk on. Funk on 2021! Yeah! Okay, like I said, this will be an online and in-person event. The in-person portion, I'm not going to talk too much about it. It will be held on August 4th through 6th between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But what I did read is it is a ticketed event, so you need to purchase tickets prior to the event or you won't be let in. And okay. even if you attend, you're not guaranteed the exclusives. So it's literally, is this SDCC? I think it's taking place of SDCC because SDCC is taking place later this year. But I believe they're doing it so it sort of is a placeholder for where SDCC would be-ish. Because SDCC is normally held in July. SDCC so in August. That's, that is bullshit. This isn't SCCC though, it's Funk On. So it's gonna be Funk On stickers on them? I guess so. <sighs> this is dumb. Okay, tell me more, what else you got? I believe that they are gonna have separate exclusives for when SCCC actually takes place. And I feel like it'll be a regular con then because it is supposed to be held in person SCCC. So I think that they're going to have the con exclusives there and then they're going to put up the shared exclusives at their retailer. This is so confusing. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm very confused, but I figure that as everybody learns, we'll learn and hopefully we'll figure it out. But the online portion of this is going to be a lottery system. So you have to be invited into the lottery like we have been since they've been doing virtual cons. Since it is a lottery, if you want the chance to be allowed in, make sure you have a Funko account. Make sure it is active. You also need to be in the Funko fan club or the Funko fun club. Fun club, yeah. And you have to have a valid address. That's right. So make sure you go into the app and set everything up or go to Funko.com and set up your account there. You yes. need to have that account set up before you can enter into the lotto for the Funko. Funcon. Fun for the Funcon. So what should happen if they continue the trend of how it has been happening, the virtual cons, is they'll send you an email a few weeks prior to the event and then after a couple weeks, like a week ahead of the event or a few days ahead of the event, they're gonna send you an email stating whether you won a lottery entry or you lost. And then if you lost, they'll give you like a 15%, hey, we're sorry you lost coupon. And if you won, well, you get to buy the exclusives on August 4th, yay! Remember, if you have won a Funko lottery before, you are still in the running to win this Funko lottery. If you've won before, it doesn't matter. It's literally a free-for-all for everybody who has a Funko Fun Club account. Apparently, they're doing reveals on July 12th. I'm excited about that. Me too. I'm very excited. I'm excited to see what this is all about because I have the feeling we'll figure out like the whole SDCC thing. Heather, I'm seeing a note that it says that there's going to be a box of fun. I want to talk about that right now. So I don't have all the deets. But they said that the box of fun is returning. And the box of fun is a box. Well, well, hold on. There's been a box of fun before it came in a cylinder. It was cardboard. It was like a box. It was enough of a box. It wasn't a box. It was a cylinder. Oh don't lie. A box of fun is coming. And I don't know. They didn't make it very clear on the website whether it's going to be for Hollywood participants only or if it'll also be shared online. So I reached out to Funko. Hopefully they'll answer my email. I don't know. I'll update you guys if they do in a future video. It'll probably just be thrown in with one of our daily videos that we do. You're a great investigative reporter. I can't wait to see what Funko has to say. However, if they say anything. We have notes 
from our good pal, Michael Petrino. He sent me some messages tonight about this very topic, and he had some thoughts on the matter. So he posted a photo of the Freddy Funko with the 2021 Summer Convention sticker. He says, remember the leaks on these. There were a few more I remember that were leaked too. It shows red, white, and blue and a few stars on the sticker. Now, I don't know if these are going to be saved for SDCC when they do it later this year or if these will be for FunCon because it says Summer Convention 2021, right? Reason I'm saying this is because remember last year when Mike Becker did a video of him holding a lit torch and running with it? It's going to be Olympic themed and that's why the sticker is red, white, blue with stars, in my opinion. And that's what we can expect to be the theme for fun days with the box of fun, maybe, question mark. And he says he's spitballing, but that sounds pretty accurate. He's really smart. That's amazing. Yeah. That would be very interesting because the Olympics are being held this year. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. With Michael on our side, though, everything's better. He's the butter that butters our bread. That reminds me of Mean Girls, where he asks, is your muffin buttered? Do people put butter on their muffins? I love buttered muffins. I've never done that before. Oh, it's so good. On you're a blueberry muffin, you're mm. putting butter on it? Mm. Why? Why would you do that? You're ruining it. Because it makes it a little bit more moist and a little bit of salt with your sweet. So what? Hold on. When you're making a muffin, it usually you get it like sort of warm sometimes, mm. even if it's chilled. There's already butter inside of it. No, but that doesn't count. But there's already butter in no. there. Why do you need to add more? Where are you putting the butter? You like get on it a top? little warm. No. You cut it right in half. And then you take your butter. And you do. Wait a minute. How are you cutting it in half? Stop. Hold on. No. How are you cutting it in half? You're down the middle. Like from the top down. From the top down the middle. And you're cutting it into two. Yeah. Basically two half circles. Yeah. And you're. And then you do one of these. Oh, that's and the dumbest thing it. I've ever heard uh -uh. in my whole life. Nope. That's stupid. Next I don't time, like that idea at all. Next time we get muffins, that's why I'm serving yours, and you're going to love no it. No way. I'm not yes. going to let you anywhere near my muffins. I'm not having you ruin my muffin. That's what's going to happen, and you're going to like it. So for those of you that don't know what the box of fun is, it's a box of fun. I knew you wouldn't be able to guess that. The Box of Fun is tied to Funko Fun Days, and Fun Days is an event that is normally held with SDCC, but this year they're doing Fun Days with FunCon. And I don't know much about the Fun Days right now, but it's apparently being hosted on August 6th, but this box is supposed to come out prior to the FunCon. They mentioned something about like rep your team. So I think Michael's on to something. I do think that it has to do the, with the Olympics now that he's pointed that out. All of their like verbiage is making more sense. Team related. I have a strong suspicion it'll be available online for everybody. At Fun Days, they have things you can only get at Fun Days. Like numbered items that are like, you know, one of 350. In the box of fun, typically you get stuff that's like within, I think the lowest was one of 1,000. You have these low numbered items that can come inside yeah. the boxes or the cylinder. But at fun days, you get the super limited things. Now, will they include that and you order them online? No, I guess we won't know. I think that would happen if you're in Hollywood for the event. Okay. But yeah, the box of fun is generally a bit higher counts, but it's still a low count. And there's common stuff in there also. But it's all fun because it's a <laughs> box of fun. So I'm very interested in seeing how this plays out. And I'm interested in seeing if this takes place of Funko's SDCC. I can't imagine that being the case. I really feel like this is sort of just to keep fans excited because SDCC is so much later this year. I'm thinking that SDCC Funko Pops are being dropped like at FunCon. And I think SDCC in person will not include the Funko related event that we've gotten at cons really? before. I think this is SDCC. I don't think so. I think it is. We'll find out. I mean, yeah. we don't know for 100%. But I think this is where we get the SDCC related summer convention Funko Pops. No, no, They're no, going to no. carry those stickers and everything. Absolutely. I'm 100% on board with that. But I do feel that they're still going to have something for SDCC. CCC specifically, but they're changing it up because it's a different time this year. Maybe. I think it's going to be more of announcement related things. That's what I think. I, I think it's going to be more of a show. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be selling a product, but we'll see. We haven't gotten there yet. Let's not start fighting over this because we don't know. You're going down. Well, now that we got all of that out of the way, all of the information that we actually have, 
I have a couple items I wanted to show. Absolutely, Heather, but I don't think we talked about one very important thing. Okay, what what is it? Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Yes, you can support the channel and get a bunch of awesome perks in return. Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out more. So over the weekend, we went to the Pasadena Toy Expo, which is located here in Maryland, and picked up some really cool stuff. It was awesome. It was so much fun. It was our first like bigger sort of event that we've been to since the pandemic last year and we had a great time. Chris picked me up some Walking Dead Funko Pops that I didn't have. We're not big on buying people pops from Walking Dead but these two were pretty cheap. I think we got Jesus for ten dollars which is close to how much you pay in the store mm -hmm. and we got Rosita I believe for five. Yeah. Yeah so we got these both for a pretty good price and they're characters that we do not have and they're pretty awesome. This one actually comes from a local comic shop. Our good pal Robert Birkendine helped us out with this. This comes from Twilight Zone Comics in Glen Burnie, Maryland. They had a table at the toy show and that was pretty awesome. This came from another table, but I can't remember who it was. This thing's pretty awesome. So this is the Pincushion Zombie. It's a Walking Dead McFarlane, I think, figure. What's cool about this figure is that it comes with all sorts of weapons that you can pull out and stick back in, which is why it's called the pin cushion zombie. So it comes with all these different like little knives and things. There's a pickaxe right here on the front that can come out and you can shove it down right down the side of his chest. And we didn't realize how cool this figure was until we got it home, unboxed it and started to figure out, holy crap, these weapons all get shoved inside of this thing. And last but not least, we got some new Walking Dead minis. So the first one's a Daryl. And I like the back. That's why I wanted it, because he has that little vest on. Yeah. It looks really cool. But we got some walkers that I didn't have. So we got a slime walker and a deer leg walker. Yeah, which is cool. A, a golf club walker. Yeah, I had never actually seen, I've seen this one but I had never seen these before in person. Yeah, I'd never seen those two. Yeah, and we actually saw these at a couple of different tables and the very last table we went to, the guy gave us a really good deal. He's awesome also, I don't, I don't remember his name either. We're gonna do a Gasocast meetup at the Pasadena Toy Expo in Millersville, Maryland. So if you're a local and you wanna come to that in November, we're gonna have a table set up we're gonna have banners set up. We're gonna have some stickers and things available for you to pick up. You can meet us, hang out with us, and we might even have ghastly stuff available in some way, shape, or form. And I have more info about that coming very, very soon. So we have a good amount of time to get ready to make this thing awesome. And we're gonna call it the Gasolcast Con. Gasol Con, what do we call it? I wouldn't say con because you're making it sound like it's a whole con for us and it's not. I'm making our own con for us in a small <laughs> corner of a toy show. <laughs> Gassel Fest! So keep your eyes peeled for all that information and we'll post that on Instagram as well as on our YouTube community page and on our Gassel Cash group on Facebook titled Gassel Cash We Hunt Together. So keep your eyes peeled for all that information headed your way. Guys, what do you think about Fun Con? And what do you think about all of our awesome pickups from the toy show? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. At the end of each video, we like to thank four of our patrons, but we've been thanking 10 because Chris decided to start the list over. So tonight we would like to thank Derek, Derek Dravance, Eddie Hamill, Fanatic Hat, Fletch, Freaky Funko, Funko Fan 626, Gabriel Lage, Greg F. I'm Funko Jeff. Thank you all so much for all of your support and thank you to all of our patrons. We appreciate you so much. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.